Hi, my name is Luke Butcher. I'm the sous chef and pastry chef at Pernal's Restaurant. Today I'll be showing you how to make my millionaire's chocolate tart. Start off by lining the uh, tart case. Here we've got some uh, sweet pastry. I like to make sure it's rested and rolled out for at least uh, 24 hours in advance. Gently fold it in. Just trim, gently roll. Now just pop that into the fridge to rest for about half an hour. Now we're going to make the salted caramel. Start by infusing the vanilla pod into the cream. When the pan's nice and warm, drop the glucose and first batch of sugar in. Then we're going to make a nice amber caramel. And now we can start to see the colour change. And then we can add a second batch of sugar. Just remove the vanilla pod from the cream. It's five to six minutes, you should uh, have the colour you want on the caramel. So now you continuously stir to make sure all the sugar is dissolved. And now I'm going to pour in the warm cream and vanilla mixture. For a minute, put salt on top of the butter. We have the butter cube by cube, whilst continuously whisking. Mossify the butter in. Now we're going to make the uh, moist chocolate sponge, which will form the second layer of the chocolate tart. So we'll start by sieving the flour and cocoa powder together. We can add our salt, our bicarb, and the baking powder. Now add this to our mixing bowl. And the final dry ingredient, which is the sugar. And then we start slowly mixing this on the electric mixer with the paddle attachment. Crack the eggs ready for the uh, wet mix. We'll add these to the buttermilk, which gently. And we add our cold brewed coffee at low speed. We'll add the wet mix. We'll add the melted butter, slowly pouring down the side. Make sure the whole mix is fully combined. So now uh, we're going to put this into a preheated oven, which is on 50% steam. Uh, so now we're going to make the chocolate and cardamom sorbet. We're going to crush the uh, cardamom pods in the uh, pestle and mortar. Pour the water, now we have the sugar, and finally the cardamom pods. Bring it up to the boil, and then we'll leave the cardamom in there just to infuse for a good half an hour uh, to get all the flavours going through. So we'll put the cocoa powder with the 70% uh, dark calabar chocolate. We'll pour for a shimwa the infused stock syrup. Pour this mixture into our ice cream containers. Okay, now with all my ice creams and sorbets, I like to put them in the fridge for a minimum four hours so they age, mature, and the flavour develops before we put them in the freezer. Okay, so now I'm gonna temper some of the 70% uh, chocolate, 160 grams of chocolate on a bain marie. Then we add in the second part of the chocolate, and we mix that. Now we've cooled it down, 28 degrees. Back on, bain marie. Heats back between 30 and 32. That'll be our working temperature for the dark chocolate. Now the chocolate's at the correct working temperature. Pour it onto the acetate sheets, and sheet on top. Nice even distribution of the chocolate. It's not too thin, not too thick in some areas. 10 minutes to set, and then we shall cut it out into the discs. Okay, so now the chocolate cake is ready. We'll leave this for half an hour before we uh, take off the mold, and then we're gonna press it in between two trays with a little weight on top of it, just to make it nice and flat, easy to cut out, and we'll have nice perfect discs. Okay, so now we're gonna start by cutting out the disc. So we pipe the first layer of the tartlet, which is the salted caramel. We've got one small dot in the centre of the serving plate. On top of the caramel, put the moist chocolate sponge. Okay, I'm going to decorate the tempered chocolate disc with some gold spray. On top of the tart. Chocolate and cardamom sorbet. Another piece of decoration. And there we have the Pernell's Millionaire's Chocolate Tart.